Okay, welcome back, everyone. This is, this is, this is Silicon Angles, the Cube. Uh, welcome to San Francisco Live. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and expect to steal them from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. We're live at the Amazon Summit. This is not the big show for Amazon. This is really about opening the kimono on product features and also uh, targeting developers and, and business folks around Amazon solutions. Um, John Furrier, the host with Jeff Frick. My co-host this week, Dave Vellante, is on a plane. Uh, Jeff, uh, subbing in for Dave Vellante. Yeah, I'm trying to keep his seat warm, John, but uh, <laughs> Dave and I were here last year at AWS Summit in San Francisco, so I'm curious to talk to, uh, to our guest today kind of what's changed in that year. We just watched the keynote, Andy Jassy was up there, really killing it, I've got some great notes that this is the eighth year, they said the eight years young for An uh, Amazon AWS services, and it's interesting because there's a lot of new announcements going on in the marketplace. Cisco just announced their cloud offering, but they've been at it for a while, and some really great uh, items out of the keynote, just the relentless pace of innovation, the relentless pace, I think he said, is 40 second cost reduction since they've been they've been getting at it. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, folks, this is a really big show for many reasons. One, it's kind of a mellow, it's not a big fanfare. There's some marketing stuff being sprinkled around, but Andy Jassy, the senior vice president, the leader of Amazon, has put this team together eight years ago, basically a startup within a startup, essentially like a series A funding. They got a bunch of people. Um, I'm getting some confirmation what those exact numbers are, but you know, since then, they built a platform from scratch for themselves, for the market. At that time, Jeff, was a dot-com bubble burst. They were really at the beginning, present at creation of this new agile mindset. This is the DevOps culture. This is a massive sea change, and, and what cloud computing is doing is changing the game, is the printing press for the modern era, is changing the game on business, how businesses are structured, how they're organizing their value activities. Everything about a business is completely changing because of cloud computing. And Amazon is by far the leader in public cloud. Um, they are just continuing to pour on the features, and, and really it's about how much market will they take in the enterprise? Right now they own the public cloud, all developers use Amazon, and other clouds are emerging. You see IBM, you see Rackspace with OpenStack, you see Cisco launching a billion dollar cloud. All these guys have been forced to make a move. HP's got a cloud, IBM, Cisco's now throwing a billion dollars to cloud. Jeff, this is absolutely a real force. Amazon is the tidal wave that's hitting the beach. And the question is, how much of that beach will they take in the enterprise and biz modern business is going to be a function of how fast the competition, the incumbents, can put up a seawall and block that. And there are a lot of issues. So Amazon is truly not ready for the enterprise, but what you're hearing today and what you're going to hear more and more from Amazon is completely incremental improvement on enterprise features. You're hearing the number three software vendor uh, in four, the ex Oracle exec Chuck Phillips announcing support. Amazon is marching, just moving the ball down the field as we use the, the football analogies, moving the chains, first and 10, they throw the ball, they run the ball, mixing up their plays, but one thing is clear, they are rolling out new stuff. They're talking about stuff, little features, new product introductions and iterations. So Amazon's strategy is clear, pedal to the metal, yeah. keep the competition in the rear view mirror and take as much territory as possible in the enterprise. Yeah, and what's interesting too, John, a couple things from the keynote is they've really used kind of the DevOps way of doing things that are bringing that into the enterprise in a way that you couldn't do before. I think Andy Jassy said that traditionally it would take eight to 10 weeks to get a new server spun up to do an experiment, and in a world of really experimentation, A-B testing, uh, trying things out, to, to be able to spin up more resource and, and try things and use data, the, the connection with big data, John, I think is great because we often separate the two, but business is really running in an agile way based on data, doing experimentation, doing A-B testing, and then th taking things down that don't work. Uh, their NASCAR slide was impressive, hundreds of thousands of customers, I think he said in just under 200 countries, uh, they're coming out with new revs of some of the uh, the earlier instances with higher higher uh, computing, and then they're coming up now with specialty flavors of their core services, specialized around I.O., specialized around memory, specialized around storage. So they just continue this relentless pace of innovation, both of their own services, and really trying to enable that in the enterprise to do things in a way that they could never do it before, really tying in data, experimenting, spinning things up, spinning things down, really being agile in the way they serve their customers, as well as the way uh, Amazon is agile in the way they deliver their services. Well, this is theCUBE, this is uh, season five for theCUBE. We've interviewed over 3,000 people live, 3,200 people live here inside theCUBE. Um, 
again, our fifth season, Jeff, uh, continuing to expand. We're going to do much more, much more shows this year. All the Amazon shows, all the cloud shows. Uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to get the Microsoft Tech Ed folks to jump on board. That would give us the full cloud circuit. Uh, they're the only ones kind of left standing we haven't gotten to, uh, to bring the cube to yet. But this is really about what we do. We want to bring action to you. We, we want to go where the action is. No stories too small, no interviews too, too big or small. We'll go where the action is. That's what we do. This is what the cube is. We're here live at the San Francisco Moscone Center at the Amazon Summit. Kind of a all about learning the cloud. This is about business people, geeks, tinkering under the hood, building out the new cloud apps, and we have theCUBE here. Also, go to crowdchat.net slash AWS Summit. We have a live crowd chat, which is a social chat for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter users. Kind of like a tweet chat. Share your thoughts on crowdchat.net slash AWS Summit. We're going to be documenting that. Um, some great tweets already coming in on the crowd chat, Jeff. One was uh, a quote that said, um, friends don't let friends build data centers. <laughs> kind of playing on the don't, friends don't let friends drive drunk. Um, I actually like that sound bite, but it's totally bullshit. I mean, come on. Data centers are not going away. I talked with George Schlesman at IO Data Centers in Arizona, the folks at Switch. And I'm telling you right now that what you're seeing is a cloud integration to the data center. Amazon has a data center connector. The data center with all the flair, of, hey, kill, killing the data center, not going to happen. You can't have a software-defined data center without a data center. And I think what you're going to see, Jeff, is a changing of what a data center looks like. It's going to look differently, it's going to have different components, but at the end of the day, it's going to be powering the facility of where the workers are. Uh, yeah, certainly cloud will be bigger, but the data center is not going away. So yeah, that's good rhetoric and good fodder for Amazon to throw out there. There's some red meat around their disruption, but really it's also the innovation. Amazon is disrupting and innovating at the same time. This is why they're an important company to watch. They are the modern era, the catalyst of change, the disruption. They're commoditizing, lowering costs, but at the same time, they're disrupting and innovating. It's very rare in the computer revolution business cycles that I've seen live that you've seen, Jeff, companies do both. So yep. that's really the story. We're going to be covering it live. The guests are here. Let's, uh, let's get ready to jump to our first segment. So we'll be right back with our first guest, live from Moscone Center, Amazon Summit, San Francisco 2014. We'll be right back. <laughs> 